The donations, which is the second of its kind, is in line with the recent devastations caused by the rise in the water level of the Volta Lake as a result of weeks of heavy rains. Management of the Volta River Authority, who are extending support to the affected communities in the Pru East Enclave, says the move is to alleviate the sufferings of the flood victims. Martin Suleimana is the Director of Human Resources at the Northern Electricity Distribution Company. Uh, VRA recognizes that as a result of the rise in the water levels of the water uh, lake, some communities have been displaced. Some have lost their homes and other and farms and so on. And so livelihood has become a bit a challenge to them. In recognition of that, management of the Water River Authority has decided to come to their aid by giving some items out to them as part of the Water River Authority's corporate social responsibility. Mr. Martin Suleimana says the move is also to help cover other affected victims who could not benefit from the first batch of donations made in November last year. We are here a few months ago to do a similar presentation, but that was to be given to, it was uh, an appeal made by the uh, Member of Parliament for the constituency. And we had responded by giving out those donations. But this particular one is also meant for the people who were not covered in the first instance. And we are here to do that so that with the help of the assembly and that more, it will get to the right people. District Chief Executive of Pru East, Alaji Adams Abdullahi, was thankful to the Volta River Authority for the donations, but was quick to appeal to other well wishers to support the district's quest to relocate the affected communities to a much higher ground to avert future occurrences. Indeed, life cannot be the same as it used to be with my people who have been affected by this flooding. It's very clear. So for the VRE to come to our aid in this regard, I think it's more than a welcoming news to see the list. So we, we are grateful for what they have done. So this will go a long way to sort of uh, mitigate the suffering of my people who are indeed affected, yes. But we are also um, appealing to the well wishers we are looking at us at this time to also come to our aid with this uh, roofing materials because we are going to resettle these people. Deputy District Director of the National Disaster Management Organization, Mavis Ayure, says the affected communities are willing to relocate but have no suitable place to go to. She therefore appealed for more aid to help provide relief to the people. What our cell companies, individuals, and NGOs that should know that people are suffering. And if they are able to help, it will go a long way. Their money, their whatever they will support, it will not go in vain. They should help the people. They are in need. They should help. The item provided includes 300 bags of rice, 60 bags of sugar, 120 packs of mackerel, 180 liters of oil, amongst others. Anna Sabit, Joy News, Yeji.